Thanks, Darren, and thanks everyone for being here. What a beautiful day, and what a neat backdrop for this event, because you not only see the wonderful natural environment in the foothills, but you see an active recycling center and people coming and going on a, on a regular day uh, as a normal course of, of doing uh, their, their business in our community. Hi, my name is Jonathan Nagel. I'm the Waste Reduction and Recycling Program Assistant for the City of Fort Collins. We celebrated the ribbon cutting of the new Timberline Recycling Center, which is located just south of Prospect Road on the west-hand side of the street. Meanwhile, the site was in full swing with many visitors in the background. This reflects Fort Collins. In my prior experience on the Pooter School District Board of Education, we were pushing recycling programs in the school and educating the kids. That same educational perspective holds true now. I think one of the big things that the mayor and I are finding out on our, our waste shed task force is the importance of helping people understand what they can do differently than what they're doing now. Uh, and this facility is a big part of that because without the ability to say you have the opportunity to do something different with your bottles, with your cans, it doesn't matter how much you educate them, they won't be able to do anything. So um, this is just one part of an innovative strategy that we're going to be executing over time. The site replaces the city's old and very popular drop-off site. Visitors will continue to enjoy the same regular services they did before, which includes their papers, their plastics, their cardboard, and their glass, seven days a week during daylight hours. In addition, we are really excited to announce the Hard to Recycle Materials Yard, which will include a much wider variety of recyclables. This currently includes motor oil, antifreeze, paint, porcelain, concrete, and asphalt, and books. In addition, we are also accepting yard waste, unpainted and untreated lumber, as well as electronic waste, though additional fees will apply for these items to cover their higher processing costs. And stay tuned, because we're actively looking to expand the amount of materials we cover back there, and we expect this will be changing quite quickly. If you haven't yet visited the new site, we encourage you to come out, check it out for yourself, tell your friends and family. We think everyone's gonna be really pleased with the new facility. For more information on this, as well as the rest of the city's recycling services, please visit fcgov.com recycling.